Coming up on the Sports Desk, we've got everything from the hot spots for adults to strap up and get in a few pickup games to how the best of the best in any sport need to feed their bodies in order to stay in tip-top shape. And speaking of the best, one of Torrance's finest graduates from South Bay Prep Star to a college-bound distance runner. Learn which high school tradition she passed up for a chance at greatness. Plus, as always, we take care of the little ones here in town too. Someday they'll be making highlights right here on the show, but for now, we've got the future stars of Torrent Sports balling at the YMCA. All that's coming up right here, right now, on the Sports Desk. Hey there, everybody. Welcome to another week with us right here on the Sports Desk. Thanks for joining us. So, all summer long, we've shown you what the younger generation of athletes are up to in their time away from the classroom. Whether it's prep athletes training for next school year or the little ones enjoying Torrance's community leagues and camps. So, now the adults get a little love on the Sports Desk today. And that starts at our very own LA Galaxy Soccer Center, where everybody from the newest footballer to the lifer is getting a little bit of turf time. Jenny Phillips has that story. While the state-of-the-art facility offers lessons and camps, the competitive soccer leagues are what draw the most soccer lovers to this place. There's different leagues here, like we also have like a Division One league. Also teams for like people who are not as advanced, you know, and there's, we've got a vast majority pe for people who just want to lose weight for exercise. And then you've got like competitive leagues where people like me play in. One of my friends actually told me about the league and we came over, we played a couple pickup games, they got me started in the team. I started playing here about three years ago, so we've been coming for three years. It's, it's fun. It's the best place I can play at. And the best part? Age and experience don't matter here. From 10-year-olds to the over 40 crowd, and from people who've never touched a ball to professional futsal players, everyone can find a league to fit into. You come in here, and if you're a family, you have kids, and you have a wife or daughters, and everyone can kind of fit into a league. Uh, your skill level is kind of accommodated for. Most of us never played soccer before. So, yeah, bless our hearts for trying. <laughs> Don't have enough friends to form a team? No problem. Players can sign up to join a house team, a great way to make friends in the soccer community. I kind of came here just by myself, so I didn't have a team to bring. So they put you on a house team, and uh, I remember we kind of, the camaraderie throughout the season grew, and the next season we signed up as a team again, and we were third. I've met a lot of great friends, even brought in some longtime friends from childhood to play. You know, especially being from another country, you know, I've come here and developed a lot of close-knit community friends. Not only is it easy to make friends here, the fun environment is also a great place to bring friends and family, to play together on teams, or to cheer each other on. The whole family comes out and you know, supports, you know, mom or dad or whoever may be playing, brother or sisters. I love to watch my mom because she's so good. And for me, she's a professional. Just hang out and just mess around. I mean, that's the best part about it. We all enjoy soccer and we like being here, so we come together here. Given everything it has to offer, it's easy to see why the LA Galaxy Soccer Center has become such a hot spot for South Bay residents. With all the activity that's going on, as well as the soccer for people at all skill levels, it's tough to stay away. From Torrance, I'm Jenny Phillips for the Sports Desk. Hey, thanks for that, Jenny. And like she said, the local MLS team's recent success certainly has something to do with the soccer center's popularity here in our little corner of the South Bay. So. How are things going for the blue and gold this summer? Landon Donovan and company gunning for that three-peat in the MLS Cup Championship. As of now, they're holding down that fifth and final Western Conference playoff spot. Starting this week, only two points separate the Galaxy in that fifth spot and the second place Vancouver Whitecaps. Of course, this is a club and a sport where it's all about just getting to the show and seeing what happens. Last season, Los Angeles entered the postseason as the fourth seeded team in the Western Conference before taking their second consecutive MLS Cup championship. So what am I trying to tell you? Let's just say stay on the bandwagon because our local club has a real shot at a three-peat over at the StubHub Center. And similar to what's going on at the LA Galaxy Soccer Center, the roller rink here at Wilson Park is another place where adults are getting together for everything from pickup games to organized leagues. This time provided by Torrance's Parks and Rec Department. Renale has that story. Check it out. 
Wilson Park's roller hockey program has been one of the main attractions for a while now, and according to Andrew Duong, a specialist for the city of Torrance, it will only get better. Originally, it started in uh, 93, I believe, and it was a private organization, and the city took it over in 2004. It's been ongoing since. We've uh, actually had a, a recent spike in our numbers, so it's been getting more popular in the recent times. Timmy Pham has been part of the program for 15 years now, and some of his favorite memories were made on this rink. I would say when we were kids, they always have all-star games every season, and then just coming out and playing with the best of the best, that was probably the best part of it. I want to say when I first played in the older leagues right now, there's only, there's barely any teams, uh, not as many players on each team, but each team almost has two full lines, so at least eight players, so it's, it's gotten more popular. Other sports programs were created only for adults and have been a big hit for the park. We have uh, a lot of things. We also have our, our basketball league uh, over in the gymnasium. Uh, we have our softball, and in addition to that, um, our facility is used for many other things. We also have uh, lacrosse during the, uh, the fall season. Um, it's not our program, but it's uh, cities and uh, schools and things like that that run the program. Um, in addition to that, we also have uh, a derby girl league that uh, rents our facility, and they use it for practice as well as some league uh, play. Roller hockey is just one of the many activities Wilson Park has to offer for adults. And starting September, there will be more to come. This is Raina Ale reporting for the Sports Desk. Okay, everybody, time for our first break of the day. When we come back, time to visit Danielle Shanahan, the Bishop Montgomery runner that passed up the biggest celebration of her student life so she could run down her lofty goals on the track. We'll tell you all about it in just one minute. Simple moments are what make every day count. What a day. We need to get outside. But, honey, I think there's a game on somewhere. Well, I know another game we can play. Uh, well, golf? You and me? I'm ready to learn, and I found a great deal on lessons. Okay, game on. I think I can take it. Now you can learn to play golf, starting with one great deal. Five lessons from a PGA or LPGA instructor, starting at only $99. Get the details at GetGolfReady.com. Get ready to play. Hey there, Torrance. Welcome back to the Sports Desk. As promised, a feature on one of this year's standout athletes. Daniel Shanahan has been Bishop Montgomery's track and field stud for quite a while now. And when she added the 3,200-meter race to her repertoire in April for the first time, only to go on and compete for the state title in that same event just a few months later, well, her legend only grew. But, as you're about to learn, that road to finishing out her night's career took a bit of a twist come June, all in pursuit of the goals she set out for all along. For most high school seniors, graduation is something to look forward to. But for Bishop Montgomery's Danielle Shanahan, competing in the 2013 state finals was even better. I knew right then that if everything went the way I wanted it to go for my track season that I wouldn't be going to my graduation. And at first it was just kind of a little bit shocking but I was like, you know what, this is what I've worked for and this is what I want. So I couldn't have thought, I, I couldn't think of a better way for me to be able to culminate my high school career with being at those finals, like, at that meet and um, just seeing all my hard work paid off and like how far I've come, especially in the last year. Not only did she qualify for state, 
She was also one of the few runners to run two events in the competition. It's actually kind of funny. This year there was a good amount of people running too. Four out of the six girls on the podium for the 1600 and 3200 doubled. So I was one of them. So yeah, it's not common, but it's definitely doable and it takes a lot of physical strength to be able to do that. According to her track coach, Brian Haynes, Danielle's perseverance made her a role model on and off the field. One of the best work ethics of all. I can come to practice, just say, hey, this is what we're doing today. And she's setting out to go do it. She gathers her teammates, makes sure they all work out, warm up, get ready to do what they have to do that day. And it's really just a joy to have an athlete like that who can go out and be self-sufficient and self-starter and do everything that you want. It's, it's hard to find. The two-time CIF individual champion for the Knights track and cross-country team is ready to make her college career just as impressive. For running, I'd really like to be a big contributor of the team. A big goal for me that I think would be a huge accomplishment would definitely be um, freshman of the WCC conference, which would be our, coast, our West Coast conference, which is what we're in. And that would be meaning at conference finals to be the first freshman to cross the finish line. So I think that would be a very realistic goal for me. And I think my like ultimate goal would be able to go to nationals, which is really difficult, but I don't think it's impossible. Very soon, Danielle will be starting a new chapter in her life, competing in the West Coast Conference and running for the LMU Lions. This is Raina Ale reporting for the Sports Desk. Thanks for that, Raina. So while we're on the topic of an athlete that stood tall above the rest during her time here in Torrance, we always like to take a look at not just how athletes are performing well in the South Bay, but we like to learn why. And one thing that is regularly ignored or simply taken for granted when it comes to staying conditioned and fit is that good old topic of nutrition. I say it all the time. You wouldn't put Crisco in a Ferrari, would you? Maybe you've heard it from a coach, maybe you haven't. A few months ago, we met the folks from Active Nutrition who taught us their equation. 20% fitness, 80% nutrition, and 100% mindset. Now, the sports desk dives a little deeper into that simple philosophy. You can't out-train a bad diet. Tamara Lada has that story. All athletes need to eat a balanced diet consisting of calories, calcium, and carbohydrates. Very important. When you're working out and you're an athlete, you're really pushing your body's limits. So when you're pushing your body's limits, you need to recover. And one of the steps to recover is actually getting balanced nutrition. So one thing that we like to provide is um, balanced nutrition for athletes. For athletes, I think it's very, very important just for the simple fact because you have to like get up every day and you demand a lot out of your body. So putting the right nutrients in it you know, it's only going to help you out. Athletes need more protein than the general population. The, the rule of thumb is about two and a half grams per pound of lean body weight. Um, so if you're about 200 pounds, um, you're probably going to want to get around 350 grams of, of quality protein. You need a good amount because you don't have the protein in your system. Like I said, it won't feel the same when you're working out and it won't feel the same after. It's protein food. The number one is eggs. That's the best whole food as far as protein source is concerned. And obviously you have your chicken, a lean steak, uh, turkey meat, um, fish, tilapia, salmon. So um, there's tons of protein sources, but the best, fast acting, most efficient one are eggs. Regardless of the sport, every athlete should eat the same. Athletes should eat the same across the board. Uh, you know what's good for your body, you know what's not good for your body. Um, now when it comes to the weight room, um, that's always kind of been up for discussion of what you should do uh, when it comes to different sports. I'm in a weight room, but really, traditionally, for myself, I train every athlete, obviously different from male to female, and depending on their sport, but everyone needs to be strong. Everyone needs to, to have some type of weight, some type of balance, stability, um, core stability, flexibility. Those are things that you really, really need for any sport. A good diet involves a change in your mindset and developing habits. Um, the hardest part about training is not necessarily the physical, it's the mental and, and actually having the determination and the consistency to maintain your, what you set out for. You know, a lot of times kids get detracted, you know, with, you know, instead of training, playing video games or going out at night. Um, you got to remember what your goals are and if you want the best results, you really got to sacrifice. You know, the professional athletes out there, uh, they weren't just born into that. They worked really hard and trained really hard and they sacrificed a lot for that. So that doesn't happen overnight. Thank you for that, Tamara. Like Tony said, whether you're trying to be fit and healthy to stay at the top of your game, or you just want to be fit and healthy, it all comes with having the right attitude. So, 
How do you do it? There's so much information out there about how to feed your body for different types of athletes, for weight loss or for muscle gain. We saw they just touched on the importance of protein in an athlete's diet, but what about complex carbs versus simple carbs? How much? When do you get them? What do I have for breakfast? How much water is too much or too little? And why the heck do fitness models snack on gummy bears backstage at competitions? Number one, just like a personal trainer, you can always find health and nutrition coaches or people that specialize in using nutrition to fuel fitness. So where do you find one? Instagram and Twitter are filled with coaches if you just search any fitness related topic. A lot even offer online and remote coaching based on your goals. Number two, you want to have the right mindset. Regardless of any plan you come up with or what your goals are, you're going to need accountability. Whatever you do, enlist a friend or a teammate to do the same thing with you. You can not only learn more by pursuing a fitness goal alongside somebody, but for you athletes out there, a little friendly competition always seems to fuel the fire a bit. Set goals if you're, ready for, if you're getting ready for wrestling season and you've got your eye on competing in a new weight class, boom, you know where you want to be and you know why. This will not only help you know where you're headed, but it will help your coach map out a specific plan tailored to your own goals. And voila, failure to prepare is preparing to fail. You've got one month before football season starts, you know where you want to be by that point, but no plan for how to get there? Any of the athletes we just saw will tell you a lot of their success comes from knowing what tomorrow's going to look like before they even wake up. All because they're prepared with the plan that builds towards their goals. And last, but certainly not least, you know what your goals are, you know why you're going after them, and you have a plan and support system in place to get you there. So track your progress. If it's a sports related goal you have that can be measured through strength or speed, you have to give yourself those tangible results through time tests, tracking how much you lift, your 40 time, any of those results are going to be proof that you're making progress and will keep you motivated. And just like we just learned, it all starts with proper nutrition. Okay everybody, time for one more break on the day. When we come back, we gotta give you your fix of the cute kids in town, this is a family show and all. The sports desk cruises into the YMCA to see how some of the younger Torrance athletes are spending their summer months. Minds can achieve anything. We make sure they get to college. Federal student aid provides more than $150 billion in grants, loans, and work-study funds to make college possible for anyone with the mind to get there. Because if given the chance, minds will do great things. Federal Student Aid, proud sponsor of the American Mind. Learn more about money for college at studentaid.gov. You show your smile to the world every day. But nearly four out of five Americans say they would smile a lot more if their teeth looked better. The good news is, healthy teeth can be safely and affordably corrected at any age. Advances in orthodontics have made the treatment more successful and comfortable than ever. Only orthodontists receive two to three years of education beyond dental school to learn the proper way to align and straighten teeth. To learn more, visit MyLifeMySmile.org. Small businesses, I believe, help weave people and communities together. I believe in the American dream. SCORE is a nonprofit organization where we provide free business consulting services to people who want to start a business already in business. I believe one person can make a difference. I am that person. I am that person. I am a SCORE mentor. I am a SCORE volunteer. What do you believe? Do you have a gift to share? Our client success is, is our success. Volunteer your expertise at SCORE.org. Hello and welcome back to the show for one more segment. Like I said, we're going to see how some of the future stars of the Torrance prep scene are doing this summer. One, everybody loves seeing cute kids, and two, it's pretty fun to meet some of the athletes that will soon be making highlight reels right here on the sports desk a few years down the road. Check it out. The YMCA of Torrance offers a wide range of non-competitive sports programs. Um, we do basketball classes, we do soccer classes, we do dodgeball classes, um, volleyball classes, we even do badminton classes. Um, we're going to be introducing um, a new class coming up in the next session. It's going to be like a sports boot camp. 
style um, for basketball where the kids are going to go and do more like cardio based drills and uh, learn basketball in a more cardio based setting instead of just kind of learning how to play the game. Um, basically we're we're trying to offer kids that wide multitude of sports where they can kind of figure out which sport they enjoy to better kind of move into those more competitive style leagues. We're here to more kind of introduce all kinds of different sports so they can kind of figure out, oh, I like that sport. That's the sport I want to be doing later on in life. Creating a positive atmosphere is the key to happiness and fun. Every day I come and I have fun. We want them to come and have fun. Uh, meet friends, get physically active, be in an environment where it's not all about winning. It's about making friends and just having a good time. Participating in team sports helps young athletes to become team players. There's different things that they learn when they're here. I mean, it's obviously sportsmanship. Uh, they learn how to interact with other children. They learn how to play with all skill levels. So if you have a child that's really good, it's not just about being good. It's about helping your other teammates uh, who aren't as good or assisting the coach. Some kids have a knack for helping with drills and they communicate well. They, they nurture other children. Instructors and parents are confident that their kids are in a caring, educational, and safe community. Very family oriented. It's like a home away from home for most of the kids here. Very community based. Um, very family family friendly. Oh, the community is great. Um, in fact, we do most of our recreation things down towards LA, but we love living up here because of all the families. And it's a big um, athletic community. It's a very big academic community. And um, I don't. I wouldn't want to raise my kids any other place in LA. Okay, that is going to do it for us today, folks. Looking for any of those last minute summer programs for the kids, help finding that local coach or accountability partner after learning about sports and nutrition today. Hoping to get plugged into an event with the LA Galaxy Soccer Center. Write the show and let us know what you're up to in town. We're all over ourselves and I can tell you firsthand, Torrance has plenty to offer for the active individual. And if you want to keep tabs on us here at City Cable 3 all the time, well, we're on Facebook. Check out the Sports Desk Facebook page for updates on the show all week long facebook.com backslash the sports desk tv and when you find us there you can also poke around and you'll find some of our other friends here on city cable three pages for senior scene this week in torrance canine corner we're all in the facebook game so don't be a stranger all right everybody like i said that's it we will see you next time